Hello, everybody. Oh, I see you got two viewers already. Hello, hello, everybody. Hi. Ah, coffee. Nectar of the gods. Is the sound okay? Is the lighting okay? Is everything all groovy? Do let me know, and I'll try to fix it if I can. We will see what happens. Ah. Denisha, I hope I'm I hope I'm pronouncing that ready. Uh, I hope that I'm you know uh, pronouncing that correctly. Hello, Miranda and Karen and Irene and Linda. Hello, Yarny Pants in the house. Hi, I Bohemian. Hello, and Betsy and Margaret. My goodness, we've got seventy eight people in here already. Hello, everybody. Wow, you guys rock. And I didn't, I, I wasn't even altogether sure if I was going to be on tonight, but I thought, you know what, let's go for it. Let, let's, let's do it to it, shall we? <laughs> oh, yes, you caught me live, Ms. P, Mrs. P, excuse me, pardon moi, and Rachel and Sarah, hello, and Pat from New Galilee, Galilee, and Sarah and Susan, hello, everybody, hi. Oh, you guys are so awesome. I'm so glad I decided to go on. So let's get on with the live stream, everybody. Hello, everybody. And Maria and Beach Crochet, AKA Yaya or Jaja. Where am I located? I am in New York. Yes, I am. Been here all my life. You know, would love to move. Where? I don't know, but hey, you know, Stranger things have happened, and around here, they usually do. <laughs> so how are all of you? I'm doing really well. Um, I'm probably going to be balling some yarn. You missed me. Oh, Sarah, I'm here. I'm always here in one capacity or another, right? I'm always here. Um, oh, you guys are awesome. Oh, you're welcome, Big Bunches, Bridget. You're welcome. Any progress with the spinning? No, no. Um, I admit I've been, as far as spinning goes, I have been a slacker. I admit that. But, but there is compensation. I have been super busy with a lot of projects that, of course, I get to share with all of you because you guys are my friends. You made six shawls. Wow, beach crochet, go you. Um, oh, the the Addies, yes. Um, there, is, there is something to do with that. Now, the title of this video is Product Reviews, Scams, and More. Well, the product reviews and the scams, not related. No, not, not related. <laughs> I'm not casting any aspersions on the products, no. In fact, I've had a very good experience. I will go into that as well. Now, before we go further, um, I do want to give a big old shout out because you know I love to do that because you guys rock my little world. I want to, I, I take notes, you see. <laughs> um, I wanted to give a big old thank you to everybody who in last stream contributed via Super Chat. Thank you so very much to Jamie, Janine, Karen, Kelly, Laura, I Bohemian, Mr. Yarny Pants, um, Sasha, Cheryl, Russell, thank you, MN Norsk, Nicole, Kat, Jen, Kimberly, Joyce, and Angie. Thank you so very much. And if I missed any names, my thing wouldn't show more. So if I missed any, sorry, but Thank you so very much for your contributions through Super Chat. I always welcome and I always appreciate, but I never expect. Mm -mm. Nope, but I always appreciate and I thank you very much. Um, also, uh, for those of you that are not able to contribute via Super Chat, you know, it is an option. I don't expect anything, no. But for those of you that can't contribute, but if you want to help, if you ever see an ad that says skip ad, just don't hit the button. And that helps me big bunches. And, you know, by not doing something, you end up helping me. So it's a win-win. And I also suggest that if there are any other YouTube content creators that you really like and you want to help support them, if they monetize their videos, 
And if they have you know the ads and it says skip ad, just don't hit skip. And that way you can help your favorite YouTubers. You know, and I hope that I'm one of them, but I know that you guys like to watch all sorts of YouTubers. You know, so that being said, thank you so very much for all of your support and warmness and kindness. And I thank you so very much. Um, now I know that the commercials are annoying. I skip them myself. Um, in fact, I have uh, a paid subscription, so I don't even have to hit skip anymore. Um, but, you know, eh. um, hello, Kathy. I missed you. Hello. And Rosanna, we've got so many people. Oh, you love my necklace, Victoria? Actually, I made it. I did. Yes. Um, I used to do a lot of work with polymer clay. And this is, this is an old thing. Yeah, th this is an old piece. Um, I'll show you. I'll show you a close up. I'm a little shaky because I've had too much coffee and this is not quite in focus. But yes, I made the the big beads, not the little beads. I made the big beads. Yeah, maybe if I do that. There you go. That's a little bit better. You know, um, you make jewelry too, Irene? Oh, very cool. Yeah, I, I used to work a lot with polymer clay uh, before I started the channel. And I haven't since because I've been so busy trying to come up with new stuff for you guys. Um, thank you very much. So, <clears throat> ah, since the last stream, oh my, so much has gone on, let me tell you. Now, yes, Vivian, you caught me live. <laughs> I'm here. Um, so... Um, Who's he what sits? All right, so the last live stream, I had a bit of a mm, issue with my Addy Click Turbo set that I had gotten. This little guy right here. By the way, not sponsored. I paid out of pocket. You know, I, I didn't get any sort of kickback button, you know, all paid for by moi because I like getting nice things, but also I love even more sharing my experiences with you guys. I do. Now, <gasps> Angie, thank you so much for your donation. Finished a butterfly shawl and blanket, currently working on a midwife blanket. Oh, and the glorious granny, my goodness. Um, uh, Kathy, yes, actually, you say I pay for most things. Well, actually, I pay for everything with the exception of generous donations, um, you know, that I have gotten through the mail, which I totally appreciate. And also, of course, your help through Super Chat. That totally helps me, you know, get new things that I can share and it helps grow the channel, et cetera, et cetera. Now, the last time, okay, that we did a live stream, I was going over these needles, the, the Addy Click Turbo set uh, by I hope I'm pronouncing this right. It's Skacel, S-K-A-C-E-L. Skacel, Skacel, I think it's Skacel. Hello, Blanche. Um, and um, during the live stream, I was raving, 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 and I was so in love. And then I was doing a follow-up. I'm like, oh, they, they made a boo-boo on the needles that they sent because if I remember correctly, um, well, there were four size 10s, one size nine, three size eights, no size sevens, and the rest were fine. But that was a big stumbling block for me. Now, uh, that, that, that was a bit of a problem. Uh, the fact that the, the numbers on the needles were rubbing off, I can get beyond that because the set does come with a needle size gauge. So, I, I could get beyond the fact that the, the numbers were, you know, able to rub off because they weren't etched in. And I did find out why they're not etched in, and I will go into that as well. Now, after... Oh, Russell, thank you so much for your donation. You are such a warm and fuzzy person. Thank you so very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, oh, thank you. Um, so, um, who see what sits? Um... You're making an every which way fillet blanket in red for HIV AIDS fundraiser. Good luck. Good luck. Th that's great. That is so great. I love charitable work very, very much. Good on you. Yeah. 
show your support. Definitely. Um, so after doing the secondary review where I was like, ah, I have a problem. Then lo and behold, this, this took me by complete surprise. My, my, my. The CEO of Skasel. Thank you, Brilliant Creations. Thank you so much for your donation. Um, the CEO of this company got in touch with me via Facebook Messenger. Totally out of the blue. I was not expecting this. They contacted me. I didn't contact them. They contacted me and they were concerned about my experience and wanted to help me out. Now, because I did purchase these through Amazon and it was a third party seller, I was not able to get immediate help through the CEO, but uh, they were more than willing to try to help me out, which I totally appreciate. And I was very flattered and very honored that I was being, you know, just being taken seriously, you know, I mean, that to me, that's big that I felt, I felt very flattered and very honored. Sarah, thank you so much. Thank you for your, thank you for your donation. You guys are fabulous. Thank you. Mm. My goodness. Um, so I was very taken aback that they were going out of their way to make sure that my experience was a good one. And it was along the lines of, you know, if I could, you know, get in touch with them, they could help me out. Um, but since it was through a third party seller through Amazon, they weren't, like I said, they weren't able to directly help me, but just, just the fact that they took the initiative to see that I was getting a satisfactory experience, that alone was priceless. That that alone, I, I was very touched. And I thank them for that. I really do. Thank you very much, Karen. I appreciate that. Um, and then my new set came in, and the new set is fabulous. And I love it. And I haven't had any issues. Very happy. And um, if you guys want, in the comment section down below, please let me know if you want me to do a further follow-up on this set. I, oh, Karen, thank you so very much for your donation. Thank you. Um, if you guys want me to do a another, another follow-up review on this product, let me know in the description box and I would be more than happy to do so. I just don't want to be too redundant. I don't want to keep, you know, proverbially beating a dead horse with a stick because I've gone on with this product. This, this would be the third video where I mentioned this product. Again, not sponsored, not getting anything. This is me wanting to spoil myself as well as spoil you guys by sharing my experience. So that's one of the products. Now, I have been told and I have been, I, I'm always listening. My ears are always, always wide open about a brand of hook, L-Y-K-K-E, -K -K -E. like, like, I, I don't know how you pronounce it. I want to say like, uh, these particular, oh, Patricia Gonzalez, thank you so very much for your donation. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Hmm. Um, particular brand of crochet hooks. And I was a little skeptical, but I loved the look of them. And I thought, let's do it. Let, let's go for it. So you guys are in for a treat because I did, in fact, get them today. Mm, yes. I bought the set and it matches my shirt almost exactly. <laughs> yes, uh, this was the, the wrapper that came around it. Um, they are driftwood crochet hooks. These are really cool. Yes, they are. And it is, they are six inch length. It's a crochet hook set. Now, um, let me see here. Okay, there is a worldwide replacement warranty. That's always nice. It seems that the screen just got darker. Um, I'm such a fashion plate, <laughs> Teresa. Um, so this set, okay, I also got from Amazon, not sponsored, bought it, bought it, bought it. Actually, by the way, um, let's see, Kathy, the, the hat is black, the shirt is charcoal. What can you do? 
Um, so the hook sizes are size E, F, G, 7, which I've never encountered before because it's in between G and H. Go figure. Uh, so E, F, G, 7, H, I, J, K, L, and M. Hmm. Now, very interesting. There's a story behind this. Very interesting because, uh, by the way, for those of you that are more familiar with the millimeter sizes, uh, E is 3.5, F 3.75, G 4, I'm talking in millimeters here, 7 is 4.5, H 5 millimeters, I 5.5, J 6, K, which is 6.5, L 8, and M, which is 9. Now, Interesting story. Now, I did get these off of Amazon, okay, and I'm, I'm going to do the reveal, don't worry. I got them off of Amazon, and what's odd is that the listing listed all of the sizes, but it didn't list size I. Huh. Interesting. So, here's the thing. So, I thought, for some weird reason, that because it came with the size 7, which is in between sizes G and H, I thought maybe that because you have all those sizes, maybe they're just not going to put in the size I. Now me, I use the size I all the time. It's one of my go-tos, you know. So I'm like, oh, great. I need to now get another hook, because otherwise I'm, I'm going to be up the creek without a paddle, and that's no good. Hmm. So that being said, upon, you know, ordering the set, I also ordered an additional hook in size I. Then I got the set today, and the set has the size I, even though on the listing it doesn't say that it has size I. Is it me, or is that weird? To me, that is weird. Now, I went on to the, the Like website, which apparently you can only purchase through that site if you are a wholesaler, but on that site, it did list that there was size I. But on the Amazon listing... And again, it's a third-party seller. There's no size I. Very peculiar. I don't understand. Is it a typo? What? I don't know. Mm. But see, that that's that, that's the funny thing about Amazon. You know, I mean, it's a great service. I love it. Hashtag not sponsored. I bohemian, thank you. Wait, I have to go back and see what that said. I love all of you. Hug someone for no reason today. Oh, I'll keep crocheting. Oh, of course I'm going to keep crocheting. I'm never going to stop. So now this is, they say it's a, a denim case. It feels feels more like a leatherette. You know, it, it, it's, it, it's like a suede almost. I'm sure it's not actually suede, but that's what it feels like. And you've got your little, your little bling there going on. And it has a snap closure, magnetic snap closure, and a little zipper pouch, you know, right in here. And, da 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 da, the pace de resistance. The hooks. Oh, these are gorgeous. Is that coffee on the table behind me? Of course that's coffee. So we have all of these beautiful hooks, with the exception of one, which I have right here. These are gorgeous. Okay, question. Oh, wait, hang on. Why is this video full size, but your other tutorial videos are small? Is there no way to make the other videos the same size as this one that we're watching now? Well, I'm using the front-facing camera right now. And you know what? I have fiddled around with the size issue. I have. I've tried. I even went so far as to trying another video uploader. <gasps> Margaret, thank you so much for your donation. Thank you. Um, I have tried even another video editor. I'm still having the problem. I don't understand. I, I trust me, if I could fix it, and if I knew how to fix it, I totally would because I want to make you guys happy. Totally want to make you guys happy. Um, so these hooks, these are called driftwood hooks. Now, when I saw the name driftwood, I was thinking, is it going to be rough? No. These are super smooth, super duper smooth. Oh my gosh. Even 
the concavity of the hook. It's rounded on the inside. It does not snag. These things almost don't even feel like wood at all because they are so smooth. I thought it might be a composite. No, these are wood. And these are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And they have different colors as well. And just the smoothness alone. I am very impressed with these thus far. I only started working with them this afternoon. Um, and so I'm impressed. Now I have bamboo ones. These I find to be much nicer, believe you me. Also, the, eh, the hook sizes are on the bottom, if you can see that. And so you don't have to worry about the rubbing off. Now, what I was saying before about the Addy needles, the reason why those numbers are not etched in is because if you're working with a very fine yarn, it would snag. And that is actually something that was addressed by the CEO from Skaysol, letting me know why the numbers weren't etched in, because it might snag. So, <clears throat> so, uh, who's he, what's it? Yeah, the, the bamboo ones that I have, the concavity underneath here, in inside of the hook, some of them it's rough and the yarn will snag because it's sort of just been cut at an angle. This is actually rounded and I was worried that that wasn't gonna be the case. These are like polished. These are so nice. I really, really like these. Let me see here, back, back, back. Are they lighter than the metal hooks and is, and is the head like a boy or a Susan Bates? Actually, I would say that the, the sharpness of the, <laughs> it's like if this is the hook, the, the sharpness of this point right here is actually fairly sharp. Also, the, the top, as you can see, is a little bit rounded, but it does come to a little bit of a rounded point. So getting into the stitches was no problem. Oh, by the way, everybody keeps asking me how much. These were about $80 for the set of 10 hooks. I'm sorry, I sort of neglected to mention how much they were. This set was about $80. The irony is that when I ordered the additional hook, that didn't have free shipping. So the hook was, I think it was like $7 and change. And then the shipping on top of that was like another $7 and change. And I don't even really need the hook because that size came in the set, so. Eh. <laughs> well, there you go. Um, <laughs> so yes, these are expensive. Um, I will be the first to say that they are expensive, but I like them, you know. Um, and now as far as the hooks that I typically use, as far as the aluminum ones, usually I like the boy brand because the Susan Bates, I find that the, the sharpness of the hook, mm, it kind of rubs me the wrong way. So I, I like the boy brand. That's me personally, not affiliated with anything or any company at, at all. But um, Karen, you say that you're a cheap hooker. I love it. You, you're so cute. <laughs> Um, now, another really cute thing that I like about this set is check this out. If you want to have them standing upright, check this out. So you got your hooks and then there's a little bit of Velcro. So they stand up. Isn't that cute? So cute. I just, I, I, I like the set, you know, I mean, I'm definitely a bargain hunter, but I also know that with certain things, you just got to end up paying, you know, eh. but I, I like them. I do, you know, and it's got a cute little case and eh, I like them, you know. Now, well, I mean, the clover, the clover I use with the, uh, the Takumi interchangeable knitting needles, not, I've never really used clover hooks, just the knitting needles, but brands, 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 what can you do, right? Eh. Um, so, you know, and if I am going to ever get another set of um, Addies, I would love to get my little mitts, my little mitts on the uh, Addy, 
I want to say Addy Rocket short tipped needles because they're apparently they're a little bit sharper and the needles themselves are a little bit shorter. And then let's see, does this set include nine millimeter? Uh, do, 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 do. Yes, size M, it does. To uh, Lita, it does. Now, um, I was thinking about getting the, like I said, the, the short. Okay, sorry for the interruption. Okay, sorry for the interruption. All right. We good? Oh, I'm so sorry about that, folks. Technical difficulties. Welcome to my little world. Oh, sorry about that. You have storms in the area. Oh, I'm sorry. No, uh, mom, grandma, no, it's not you lagging. It's my, my Wi-Fi being temperamental. I'm sorry about that. Sorry, Irene and everybody else. You know, technology, eh. Um, sorry. You know, I, I try to do the best I can, you know. <sighs> Anywho, um, so technical difficulties aside, I hope you guys can see me because the text stopped as well. I don't know. I hope you guys can see me. I don't see anybody saying anything on chat. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, okay. All right, there we go. I just had to scroll up. Sorry about that, everybody. <sighs> Drama, right? All right, so now also, because you know I love to give sneak peeks as to what I'm working on. You know I do. You know, I, I love surprises, but I also... I, I love to, I love to show you guys stuff. I do, you know, you know, whether it's, you know, new crochet hooks or knitting needles or whatever, etc. cetera. Um, let me just move some things around here. My goodness. All right. So now you guys gave such an incredible response to the glorious granny blanket. Oh my gosh. I was blown away at the response. I didn't know if it was going to be well received or not. And I, I really wanted to do it. And I was really glad that I could share the story about Gloria um, and pay homage because, you know, us crocheters, we have to stick together. And, you know, I, I thought that that was, you know, a good thing to do. Now I went a step further because it was suggested that I turn the glorious granny blanket into a shawl. So I did, I did already. Yes, I did. Um, and so check this out. I'm so happy with how this turned out. I decided to do the glorious granny shawl and here it is. Da, 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 da. I'm so happy. This is, ah, oh, I love it. Absolutely love how this turned out. Now I did use a size larger with, well, as far as the hook size, um, because it's a really, 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 really fuzzy, 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 wuzzy yarn. And this was done with Red Heart Unforgettable. And I only used two skeins because I wanted to make it more of a, a shawlette or a neckerchief. So let's, let's do a little fashion show for you. A little fashion. I'm not very fashionable, but eh. You know, David Bowie, you know, singing about fashion. Beep, beep. <laughs> we are the goon squad and we're coming to town. Beep, beep. But uh, so it's it's not quite the size of an actual shawl. It's more, I mean, you can make this whatever size you want, really. But, um, you know, I just wanted to... Fuzzy Wuzzy was a fiber spider. <laughs> fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't Fuzzy Wuzzy. Hmm. By the way, I did ask Alexa the other day, how much wood could woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? And she said, if a woodchuck could chuck wood, you know, like she, she just kept going. It was actually really quite funny. <laughs> um, so this is going to be 
one of the, the projects, and I hope you guys really dig it. It's very similar to um, the, the blanket with a slight variation, which, you know, of course, I would show you guys how to do it. Um, because instead of a, a one round repeat, it's actually a two round repeat because you got both sides going on. And this was a lot of fun to do. It really was. I, I, and I, you know, I love the autumnal colors. So this, mm, love it. So at any rate, you know, yeah, you can make this whatever size you want. And then, yes, there's an end then. There's, there's always more. <laughs> Um, from Australia, Fern, hello. Oh my goodness. So yeah, this I hope to do this weekend. And the other project that I hope to also do this weekend, I've been busy. You, you know, I don't rest, you know, I'm like the little road runner. Uh -oh. Now this project, a little bit different, a little bit the same, depends on where you're going with it. This actually is not a shawl. This is a wrap that I did. And this is the spider granny wrap, if you will. Uh, what do you do with all your beautiful creations? Well, up until now, I've donated most everything. I gift out some things. Uh, I've, I have done commissions, although I don't typically do commissions anymore. Um, but uh, a lot of donations. I'd love to open up an Etsy shop if ever I can. Who knows? But yes, this is a, a spider grainy stitch. Now, you can make this as wide or as narrow as you want to. I decided that because it is really, really, really lacy, this would not be good for a baby blanket because their little footsies would get stuck in there, and that's no good. And so I was thinking that a wrap would be really nice. This is, I want to say, like two, you know, two plus feet wide. And it's really, 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 really long. Uh, this is actually Red Heart Super Saver. Um, and so, yeah, I, I made this, you know, really long. <laughs> Um, and, uh, you could do this in crochet cotton and this would make a great table runner, or this could also make a really neat, um, oh, what do they call that? It's not a, not, not a blanket, a, a coverlet. Yes. This would make a lovely coverlet. Ooh, my goodness. You know, I suppose it could work as a throw, but more of a, a warm weather throw throw, if you will. Am I fashionable? Beep, beep. <laughs> um, this, this was actually a really, really lot of fun to do. Believe you me. Uh, very, very quick. It's a nine row repeat, but once you get the hang of it, it's not that bad because you can see based on your previous rows where you are within the pattern. So after you do full repeat, it's not bad, really not bad at all. Um, and so this is, I mean, they call this uh, bit in here, for those of you that are not familiar, the spider stitch. So it's sort of leggy with a little spider in the center. And then of course this is the granny stitch. So it's basically a, a granny spider, you know, she got a little, she got a lot of grandkids. <laughs> so this is the granny spider. Um, and this is, oh, for, for this, I did it as a wrap. You could do it as a, a throw, a coverlet, a, a what have you. This would make great curtains. Ooh, if you have the time and the patience, and if you're using like crochet cotton, this would make some lovely curtains. You know, because I know that some of you do like to make uh, curtains out of some of the patterns that I do. So there's an idea for you. There are options. There are tons of options. And there are lots of things that you can do just by manipulating the stitch stitches in a different way. And that's one of the reasons why I love doing what I do, because you can manipulate things in different ways. Like if you take old doily patterns, really large, like tablecloth 
doily patterns. And instead of using crocheted cotton, if you use like four ply yarn, you've got yourself a blanket. It's not a doily anymore. You know, think about that. Hello from Vegas. Hello, Brenda. <laughs> um, so there are a lot of really, really cool things that you can do just by thinking a little bit outside of the box, which is a lot of fun. Um, a little, little sippy sippy of coffee here in Colorado. You guys are everywhere. Oh, my goodness. And I think I saw somebody who's from Japan. Hello. Konnichiwa. Um, whew, in California and Virginia and Australia. Good day. In Fort Worth. Is Fort Worth in Texas? I don't know. Um, oh, my goodness. In Ontario. I need a coffee cozy. Would it, would it be microwave safe? <laughs> and New York and Ontario and Oklahoma. Oh my goodness gracious, you guys are everywhere. Halifax and Hollister. Wow. Good day. <laughs> you guys are so cute. Um, now, another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about, um, and that it's in the title of the video, is scams. Yeah. Um, the upside and the downside. I mean, there really isn't much of an upside, but there is something that I wanted to talk to you about. And it's it's sort of a PSA, public service announcement, if you will, that I recently discovered a YouTube channel. And this guy is, this guy's a good guy. He's not a bad guy. He's a good guy. And his name, well, his YouTube channel name is Kit Boga, K-I-T-B-O-G-A. And... I have been binge watching him for like a week now and I have gone through so many of his videos and I think he's, he's great. He's, he's really great as far as being an informer and entertainer. I really like his channel. From what I've seen, all his videos are about essentially scamming scammers. And he does it in such a creative way. Now, as far as scammers are concerned, unfortunately, it has become commonplace for these scams to go on. And it shouldn't happen, but it does. And it shouldn't, but it does. And it's sad. It's, it's really sad, especially when people could be doing something more productive with their lives as opposed to trying to steal and cheat and... Duh. It, it's infuriating to me. It really, really is that people would try to scam other people. But it's everything from IRS scams saying that you owe X amount of money because you misfiled your taxes. So now we're going to send an officer to arrest you unless you go to a store and buy a gift card that then you read the number to us. And then we won't, we won't, you know, send the police after you, you know, and so there are IRS scams, there are uh, scams with tech support, all sorts of scammers out there. And I want you to be informed because I myself have gotten these phone calls from people who are trying to scam me. And if it happens to me, I'm sure it must happen to you too. And I want you guys to be okay. I want you guys to be safe and to be careful because, and to be aware, yes, I want you to be aware. And why am I going out of focus here? My camera. Oh, anyway. Yes. <laughs> I just said yes. Yes. Irene says, never say yes. Right you are. Right you are. Um, now, I recently, uh, within the past couple of weeks or so, I recently received automated phone calls from Apple. Okay. On my caller ID, it said Apple. And then on the automated voice message, it said that my, my cloud has been breached and that I need to give them a call and so I can get this fixed. Mm-hmm, right. Well, personally, I don't use Apple. I have nothing against them, but I personally don't have any Apple products. However, my mother does. So I was like, all right, let me, let me, 
let me entertain the notion, but let me not call the number that was left on my answering machine. No, I called, I went on to Google, you know, and I looked up the official customer service number on the Apple website. So I called them and they're like, no, actually we do not call customers. You know, and, and I've also learned that no, no big companies will ever call customers and say that they have a security issue. No, that is what is referred to as a cold call. And that is what is referred to as them trying to reel us in and catfish us into thinking that we have an issue with our service and only they can fix it. And then once they get inside of your computer, they can literally do what is called a syskey. I'm learning new things all the time. They can do what is called a syskey and they can lock you out of your computer and basically, you know, uh, hijack your computer and say, if you don't give us money, then you can't get into your computer. They hijack your computer. Linda, you're going to bed. Oh, good night, Linda. So, uh, I I was infuriated that not only did they call me, that one day they called, I would say maybe about 10 times. I wish I was kidding, but I'm not. They must have called about 10 times and they got my answering machine every time because I don't pick it up. But it was about maybe 10 times in that one day I was feeling so harassed and put upon I, I felt uh, so uncomfortable. I even felt violated because this is my personal space. And they were they were invading my personal space and they just kept calling and calling and calling. And now the, the irony is that when I called, when I called customer service through the number on Apple's website, the number on my caller ID was actually an Apple store. Apparently, these these hackers, these people, they actually hacked the number so that it would look like it was actually Apple calling me, even though it wasn't. Huh. That's how ingenious and devious these people are. So I want you to get informed. Now, I, I am not a tech person. I'm sure you guys know this. I'm a stitcher. I'm not a techie. So what I want you to do is to be aware, to also educate yourself, promote education, because that's how we learn and not get scammed. Because unfortunately, these people are relentless. Now to go further into Pit Boga, he doesn't just call these people up, you know, these scammers and, you know, <clears throat> you know, sort of feed into them. No, 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 no he uses a voice changer so that he sounds, I mean, I want to say he's in his 20s or 30s, but he uses a voice changer so that he sounds like he's a little old lady in her, in her late 90s. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Oh, Russell, you have to get going? Oh, oh no. Oh, go, 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 go. Thank you so much for joining and thank you so much. But no, it's okay, go, go, it's okay. Um, so he will use voice changers to sound like a little old lady or a, a young girl, or he'll put on an accent and he'll sound Russian and he'll use all these different voices and he'll go into these long explanations as, as if he were a little old lady saying that my cat, Mr. Whiskers, yo know, wants to talk to you. It, it's hysterical because he keeps these people on the phone going and in them in the hopes that they can get money out of her. He keeps them going for hours, wasting their time, which is great for two reasons. One, it is so entertaining. He's hysterical. I usually don't plug other people's channels. I mean, yes, I love iBohemian. He's my friend, so of course I'm going to plug him. I mean, Mr. Yarny Pants is awesome. He's doing a blanket giveaway, and you should totally check him out by all means. Yo, I'm, I'm just going to say that right now. Uh, so, yes, I, Bohemian, check out that channel. Now, Kit Boga, I am actually saying, yes, check out his channel because he's hysterical. 
the little stories he goes into, you know, and he himself, he does not curse. Unfortunately, the scammers, when they get when they get irate and they realize that they're not going to get any money, they curse. So I'm just putting that out there now that if offensive language offends you, you might not want to watch because some of them get very offensive in what they say when they realize that they didn't get what they want. So I'm just saying, you know, I'm, I'm putting out that disclaimer. Just going to put out that disclaimer. But he himself is hysterical. And he's doing us a service because for every minute that he has those scammers on the phone, they aren't calling us. And he's also spreading the word on his channel. Okay, Pat, it's K-I-T-B-O-G-A. Kit as in a, a toolkit. And instead of BOGO, buy one, get one, it's B-O-G-A. I'll put a link in the description box once all is said and done. Um, and so he's, he, like I said, he's entertaining. And also he wastes their time, which is great. And if possible, he tries to talk to them after the fact and be like, listen, I'm not a little old lady. He'll use his real voice. And he's like, you know, I'm not a little old lady. Do you think that what you're doing is acceptable? And he tries to kit as in Knight Rider. Yes, very good. <laughs> um, good Bohemian. Um, and um, so he'll question, it's like, are you happy with yourselves? Now, the one that I, I have paused right now on my TV, it's reformed IRS scammer intercepts our call. Apparently he came across somebody in the call center that knows what he's doing is wrong. He's planning on getting out. And in the meantime, every time there's a phone call and he can get in, he will intercept it and be like, listen, this is a scam. You know, so there are some good people out there that are trying to repent, that are trying to make good on it and be like, listen, don't do this. You know, don't, you know, don't fall into this. And I, I want all of you guys to be okay. That's first and foremost, I want all of you guys to be okay and not get suckered into this because it's easy. They use fear, they use manipulation, and, you know, mm, mm, it gets my goat. It really gets my goat, and I can't stand it. So that is why I, I don't know if pride is the right word, but I pride myself on being so transparent with all of you with what I do that I want, you know, I mean, I trust you guys, and I want you guys to trust me. That's why I try to be as completely transparent as possible. I mean, you know I monetize my videos, but I do that because I put in easily eight to 16 hours a day worth of work, not always, um, you know, not always doing the actual videos, but by doing the stitch work so that I, like that spider granny shawl wrap that I did. I mean, that that took some time. You know, it takes a lot of time to do what I do. And that's why I monetize the videos. And, you know, I show you, you know, the the various various products, you know, the adding knitting needles and, and so on and so forth. Um, you know, I show you all this stuff, but I pay for all of it. You know, the these needles were like $107. The crochet hooks, that was like another $80. Um it adds up, but because you guys help me so much, that enables me to, you know, it, you know, every little, every little bit helps, you know, and that's why with your help and by not hitting the skip button on those ads, that helps me so much and I can keep doing what I do, you know, and that's why I, I honestly believe that being transparent with you guys is paramount. It is so important because I'm not looking to get something for nothing. I'm not looking to pull the wool over anybody's eyes. Sheep, wool, yarn. Anyway, um, <laughs> um, how can you donate to me and my channel? Well, Carolee, um, you can get in touch with me 
via Facebook Messenger. Um, if it's a matter of wanting to donate something tangible, um, you know, you can get in touch with me via Facebook Messenger at Fiber Spider. Although right now, I don't need any more yarn. I don't need any more yarn. Right now, I don't. I'm good, you know. Um, but um, as far as, you know, Super Chat, that is more than welcome. <coughs> hmm, excuse me. So through Super Chat, yes, you can make a monetary donation or, you know, whatever you just watch a video, just don't hit the skip ad button. That alone helps me, you know. Um, you guys are just so great. You really are. Um, oh, Chicago. Oh, oh, Chiago. Excuse me. I thought that said Chicago. I've heard of the Chiago needles. Never, never used them, but I have heard of them. Um, but uh, let's see. Furls. Ah, yes, Miranda. Okay. Have I ever tried the Furls crochet hooks? I have not. I haven't watched, sorry, I haven't used the furls. However, I did some pricing. Oh my God, those are expensive. Chow goo. Oh, excuse me. Um, purple iguana, hi. Hello, purple iguana. I've missed you. Um, yeah, the furls crochet hooks. I mean, yes, it has an ergonomic, you know, sort of ball shaped handle to it. And they look, they look really pretty. Don't get me wrong, they look very pretty, but the prices, purple, purple iguana's waving. <laughs> um, the, uh, you keep talking yourself out of buying the furls hooks because of the price. Yeah, I, you know what? I'm crazy. I am certifiable. I'll be the first to admit it. I am, I am a nut, but I, uh, I don't know about buying the furls hooks because that's really, really expensive, even by my standards, because I saw some of them, which I think they were like gold or gold plated or something along those lines. One of them, will you be doing a tutorial for the spider granny stitch? Hopefully very soon. Um, one, just one hook I saw priced at, I think it was $60 on Amazon. One one hook. Ah, I mean, for me to get the, the like crochet hooks, you know, a set of 10 for $80, that's not that bad comparatively, but one hook for that much money? Is it self-stitching? Is, is it going to make my blanket for me? That's nuts. That, mm, I don't know. I mean, if, 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 in the comment section down below, if you have used the the furls hooks and you think that they are that incredible, tell me why in the comment section down below, please, because I'm always interested in expanding my horizons. But for that price, I don't know. You know, I'm nuts, but I don't know if I'm downright bonkers. I, I don't know. Maybe it's sort of like the the Noro yarn where it's like really, really, really expensive, but it's because um, it's the name brand. I don't know. And I just saw a quick question. Hang on. Let me go back. Uh, is there a trick to turning the square afghans you did like the glorious into a rectangle? Well, actually, from what, from what I think, uh, I do have, if I'm not mistaken, a video on how to do a rectangular granny blanket. Basically use that as your guide and then use the glorious aspect on top of that. That's what I would say. Um, I haven't done it yet. I might in the future. I don't know. Until then, I'm going to do the, the glorious granny shawl, hopefully very soon. Um, Hang on. Whoa, this is going by fast. Oh, Kathy, you also don't call people asking for money. You provide a needed service. I'm very grateful there are people, teachers like you. You're very welcome. You are very welcome. Um, you have two of the furls hooks and you've used them, but they're not your favorite. Paula, thank you for the info. Um, 
you know, it, it's crazy. The prices of some of the products, it really is crazy. I mean, sometimes I think that sometimes the extra price is worth it. Like with the, the Addy products, I've never had issues other than that one, that, that one little snag. Other than that, you know, I haven't had any issues with the Addy products. I like them and I think they are worth the extra cost. If you compare those to, you know, some of the store brand needles, I really do like those. I will say that. Um, yeah. Anywho, we are almost at an hour. My goodness. I just, I get talking to you guys and, you know, it, it's like, you know, having a, a coffee clutch, you know, and you guys are so awesome. And to all of you for joining tonight, thank you. Thank you so much for joining with me tonight. And thank you so much for your donations. They're always welcome. They're never expected, but they're always welcome. And I really, really do appreciate. Do I rewind my thread into balls? Wait a minute, wait a minute. And not pulling from the center. Why do, oh, why do I rewind? Because it's my way of scanning the yarn to make sure that there aren't any icky knots um, or imperfections in the yarn. It's my way of scanning the yarn first. It's an idiosyncrasy. Emphasis on idio. <laughs> um, so listen, again, thank you so very much for joining me. I really, really appreciate, you know, all you guys, you know, you make what I do so worthwhile in every way. And I'm, I'm ecstatic. I really am, you know. Uh, do I have Facebook? Yes, it is just like here. Fiber Spider. Yes. Um, oh, you guys are so sweet. It needs to be werewolf for the summer. A very, oh, werewolf. I, I think it autocorrect was on there. <laughs> oh, you guys are so funny. Listen. All right. So I'm going to sign off. But again, I, I can't thank you enough. And I, I will never stop thanking you because you guys, you know, you're just, you're, you're awesome sauce. Um, so yes. Oh. Oh, uh, yes. Don't forget to hug somebody for no reason at all. Yes. Um, I Bohemian. Thank you for joining Russell. Thank you for joining in purple iguana and everybody. Thank you so very much for everybody to, that joined in with the stream tonight. And so again, check out I Bohemian's channel as well as Kit Boga. Um, he doesn't even know that I'm talking about him on this stream. But yeah, check out Kit Boga because I really think that his channel is very informative. It's also very entertaining. So yeah, check him out too. And listen, until next time, my dears, you know what I'm going to say. I always say this. Until the next time, I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, and above all, stay stitching. Yes. And hug a stranger. Well, not necessarily a stranger, but you know what I mean. You know, hug somebody for no reason at all, just because, you know, spread the love and do a random act of kindness. You know, be a good person. Stay safe. Don't get scammed. Mm. And uh, I will see you in the next video.